The presentation by the University of Namibia's lecturer, Dr. Basilius Casera, highlighted interconnected issues showing how the absence of adequate social protection worsens social economic inequality, resulting in high youth unemployment. He also pointed out frequent mismanagement of public resources, often without repercussions. Economic opportunities that are squandered, while political office holders are more interested in personal gain than providing public service. The consequences of this social economic decline, which Dr. Casera says, does not only undermine the social contract, but young people have also lost hope. Mobilizing state resources to create an enabling social economic environment is not only a matter of justice, but, but an obligation inherent in our, in our social contract. We need to hold the tangible extension of the state, which is the government, to live up to the constitutional motivation and not leave the protection against unemployment to the goodwill of whoever is in government. Others say the youth too have a role to play in meeting the government halfway. Some youths, however, continue to explore avenues to create self-employment, but it has not been a walk in the park. So when we are speaking of youth unemployment, you are a graduate with the necessary understanding expertise that you have gained from a university. What limits you from starting a cooperative to say, we want to set up a green scheme in a region where we have fertile soil, where we have access to water, where we need the necessary support to ensure that this green scheme takes off. And while you may not agree with what I'm saying, these are the interventions that, that we need to start conversing about as young people. If we could have implemented what is there, we could have solved the youth unemployment. So the issue is not policies, Dr. Kassar. The issue is not policies, it's uh, the implementation. I think we should do, change the way we have been doing things, advocate. From 1997, I think we are doing the same thing. So if you expect to get a different result doing the same thing, I think that is, uh, it's, it's not, it's not good at all. And also when we are talking about accessibility, how do you expect the youth to access all these National Youth Council, National Youth Service programs when they are not educated, when they do not have the resources? And in my introduction, I was introduced as coming from the basic income grade. And I believe that a universal basic income grade can be the starting point of the government. And we are not anti-government, we are patriotic youth who want to change the future of our country. The public lecture also highlighted the need for public honesty and integrity to create robust social protection. Selman Dikwa, NBC News, Vantuk.